Well, hello! I've been waiting. Of course for you, it's our Valentine's Day and you are right on time. Today, I will show you how to do your makeup like this. How about that? But first, I have a few things I would like to say. First, last week I did a super fun video of Queen of Hearts makeup. So if you're interested in that or you want to see a lot of the color red, you can find that right here on my channel, Love for Beauty. Just click and it will take you right there. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, you know what to do, please. Second, this will be my magical wand for the day. So you will see a lot of this going on. Third, I have my romantic atmosphere here. I have my candles going on. I have my little so I am ready for today. Fourth, it's last but not least. I want to say I'm wearing this beautiful dress from Forever 21. So thank you Forever 21. I love you. Sending you kisses and all that good stuff. Now, I have to share something. Someone sent me a gift. How sweet. I have it right here and I'm going to show it to you. Bam! Are you... What? It's a flower and it's edible. Talking about killing two birds with one stone. A flower and a candy. Like, genius, hello. Also, total sugars, 11 grams. That person must know. That's my daily intake of sugar. Like, what else could you possibly want? Let's get to it, guys. Hello, beautiful people. This is your pro makeup artist, Nika, and you're watching Love for Beauty. Let's start on the makeup. I'm so excited for this look. It's very sparkly. It's very pretty. Let's get on it. I will show you how to put foundation first. Here we are. I will mix my favorite two. I will mix Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Boom. I will mix that with my other favorite, which is the IT CC Illumination. This thing is amazing. It has sparkles. Love it. And I will apply this with this magical brush. I love this brush. I am in love with it because secretly I am a mermaid. Here we go! This foundation is amazing! Both of these are. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And look at how much this brush covers. It's insane. And then you're done. It has light but buildable coverage, so I really, really, really love it. Now, Makeup Forever Ultra HD is my favorite for film and TV. The best. Done with the foundation. Time for concealer. I 
I am going to use my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. There it is, Laura Mercier. We have the correct side and the brightened side. We're using the correct side first. <gasps> Blending. Now that we're done with the concealer, we're going to powder underneath the eyes. Powder! I got this amazing Krylon Dermacolor Fixing Powder. Yeah, it is. I'm getting a fluffy brush for eyeshadow. And I'm just powdering under the eyes. This will prevent it from creasing. Very important. The side. So, see if it creased a little bit. Just go back with a brush. And powder. Done with the powder. Next up, eyebrows. I actually ordered the Tarte Big Eagle, but it's not here yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So now I'm going to use the Smashbox Brow Tech. It has a little gel and two colors. I'm kind of a mix of those two, but I use this one mostly because I'm blonde. Yes, yes, I'm blonde. Let me use a little bit of the gel first. Get yourself a good angled brush, guys. A good one, like this. Otherwise, you will not have good eyebrows. Now, I dip in the color. And I go over the gel. Fill them in. I don't like my eyebrows too thick, so just gently fill them in. That's as far as I go. Unless I'm doing a special photo shoot or something like that. Just tiny definition. Frame your face. If you overdid it a little bit, touch up with a concealer brush. All good. Cool. Eyebrows are done. What's next, my friends, is the eyes. So I'm wearing this beautiful teal dress from Forever 21. Thank you, Forever 21. I love you and all your clothes. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be doing my eyes in these colors. It's gonna be some teal and blue, and there will be a lot of sparkles. So don't you worry. My favorite, eyeshadow primer. Proof it. Coming from Nick. This one's my personal one, so I'll just use the wand inside. I'll take my concealer brush, spread it evenly. This one provides a great base and it's waterproof. Okay, I have to take a second now and ask you, how do you like my brain? How cute is this little bear? So cute. My shadows. Look at that. I will use most of these babies. I always pop in the corner. 
Hop, hop, hop. And then pop under the eyebrow. Pop. So nice. And blend, blend, blend till the end of the world. Look at that blue. Are you ready for this? Mmm, sweet. To you guys, if you're wearing like red or pink or any other color, feel free to modify this look. You don't have to use the colors that I'm using. I'm just wearing these colors because they match my outfit. And because I did a red look last week, as you remember. So if you haven't seen that one, go back to last week's video and you will see a red look. If you want to go for the red, you should definitely check out that video. Do you like how this goes with my dress? Mm, so pretty. So for the light color, I'm using this pink and then the white. And then I'm blending with this color, this color, this color, and this color. Fun times. I think we have to add a little bit of black. I'm a little overwhelmed by the blue. So I'll just use some navy blue and then probably black. Or under the eye. Yeah, I definitely want to go black. There we go. And then a little bit of navy blue on top. A little bit of the black. Do the same on the other side. Feel like you need to blend more. Blend more. All right, we have a good base. Now, glitter. I'm excited about this a lot. All right, guys, ready? We're gonna use a little bit of this one. A little bit of this one. A little bit of this one. And this one. And this one. I know, that's a lot. But wait till you see it. I recommend using any kind of gel. I really like this sparkly gel. It is so freakishly good. I got this in UK a while back. I don't know if they still make it. I will Google and put link down below if I find it. But literally any gel. This one is just really pretty because it has these sparkles in it. Look at that. It has mermaid sparkles. Here we go. Glitter is on. Glitter. What I'm going to create is a gradient of different shades of blue glitter and a little bit of dark gray, like almost black at the end for the pop. All right, so put the gel in 
Look at that. It's beautiful. That's why I love this gel. Because it already has sparkles in it. And they also stick to it. It acts like glitter glue. And then I'll dip in the lightest color. Put that first. Right here. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Because I don't want to mix the colors too much. So I want to start with the light on both sides. And I'm only applying the gel where I'm working, not to the whole eye, because it's going to dry eventually too fast. So working it to here. This is already so pretty, guys. Watch that. So then we're moving on to the next color right here and dabbing in it, placing it on. Gorgeous. And then you mix it a little bit with the previous color. You can even mix both glitters if you feel like you need to. But this gel, man, it's amazing. I want to buy 10 more of these babies. I need to find it. Because I'm running out. Even if I leave it like this, honestly, like it's so pretty. But I keep going. Nobody can stop me. What do you guys think? Listen to me. If you are loving this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is up. Leave me comments and ideas. I will do my best to answer them all. Let's get back to the glitter now, guys. So I'm gonna do dark like right here almost like an eyeliner i think i'm gonna do eyeliner as well just want to see how this is gonna go i'm just placing the gel so it has some particles but that's all right so here we're placing the dark one there we go great and you kind of want to shape the gel in the shape that you're going for you know if you're gonna wing it you wing the gel. You wing that gel. Just like that. And you can dab a little underneath. And I'm good with that side. I actually don't think I need eyeliner because I shape this really well. And then some will fall out. It's not a big deal because you don't have gel there. So you can just brush them off. Brush them off. Here we go. Gone. Perfect. Yeah, at this point, I am loving this look. I don't think I need eyeliner at all. I'll show you guys. great and see how it's like darker here but it's still sparkly I love that I am pretty happy you can go with any colors that you like you can as long as you can match the shadow and the glitter and even if you can't like you can only use glitter you don't need to like base with eyeshadow it just looks a lot better it gives it a better base so yeah do that I actually want to see pictures. You guys should try this at home and then send me photos. I really want to see. I'm excited. Lashes. I love these. Look at that. You bumped up the whole look. I almost loved it before the lashes. What do you think? <laughs> Just kidding. Look 
some sparkles fell off my eyelids to my cheeks, which is totally fine. You can cover your cheeks with tissue if you like. I like it when they fall down a little bit and give me that sparkly look all over. Lashes are done. Great. I will go a little bit of this white eyeliner, which is makeup forever. And I'll go in the eyeliner. The waterline. You see this? Up, up. Time to contour. I will use this palette. I don't think they have it anymore. We use these two colors to contour. I love to powder contour. It gives you a lot of more control over blending. It's amazing. Look at that. I'm super happy. Let's do the blush. I have these babies. I will use probably a mixture of this one and this peachy one. Just let you know, I dabbed a little bit in this frosty pinky one. I thought that's really cool. It gave it that little frosty look. So gorgeous. Here we go. Awesome. Lippies. I don't want to go too crazy on the lips if I got so much going on in my eyes. I think I'm gonna go with this kind of frosty pinky one mixed with maybe this one. I like to go light on the lips. I also like to be able to kiss my day. It's Valentine's Day after all. They have to be kisses. I go for very natural and glossy looks for my lips. This is also a makeup artist network and it is the color of dusty rose even just with that lip liner look at that so pretty we're gonna darken like right outside of the lips just a smidge just to make them pop Very little, very gently, very blended, okay? Be careful. And then, I'm going to make them pop a little with the white. And I'm going to blend that. Always blend everything. And don't blend that into the lip liner. You blend that into your foundation.
lagi kita lips pop 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 now ready apply this is lip gloss I'm gonna mix the colors with my favorite rosebud song That's exactly what I was going for. Little mermaid lips. Uh, if you feel like you need to, you can go back and blend with the lip liner one more time. And we are done. What do you guys think? Let me know. I want to know if you had fun on Valentine's Day. Let me know. Send me photos. I want to see what you did and make videos. And you guys inspire me. Tell me what you want to see. And I will do my best to do a video on it for you. Okay, guys. This is my night out on Valentine's Day makeup. I hope you liked it. Of course, you can tweak it however you like. You can change the colors, match it to the outfit that you are wearing. If you like this video, make sure to come back next Thursday at 5 p.m. Central or 3 p.m. Pacific for some more fun. Next week, I have a super cool reaction video for you. That's all I'm going to say because I would like to surprise you. We're going to have so much fun. So get your popcorn ready. Now, look in the mirror. You are beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, you are beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going on my date now. Toodles. Please, of course I have a date. But I can't tell you anything about it because I'm gonna get in trouble. Like, a lot of trouble. We are ready for a date. So get out of here, go have fun, go show off your makeup to everybody, and then come back and tell me how it went. Now, in case you are not a Valentine's Day person, you don't like to celebrate Valentine's Day, or you're single, let me tell you this, make it a date with yourself. Have a date for yourself. Cook your favorite meal. Watch all of my videos, okay? That, that could be something you can do on Valentine's Day. Or guess what? You can try all the makeup looks. That'll give you something to do. But really, don't think of it as a commercialized holiday, which it is. Just think of it as a day to celebrate love. Self-love is love, is one of the most important loves of all. So just, you know, just do it. Come and get ready with me, do your makeup. Let's have fun. Watch your favorite show. This is your favorite show. And then that's it. Have a great day. Take an amazing bath light up some candles you know all the good stuff if someone's asking you why you're doing this say Nika recommended that's it you don't need to explain that's all I need to do done now go do it okay and go look in the mirror you are beautiful